If Canada said tomorrow you don't have to wear face coverings indoors, would you still wear them? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Won't wear them now. <laughs> I would not. Uh, I think a mask for us will be always, always yeah. a, a choice. Yeah. Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. Dre Humphrey here with Rebel News. You may have heard what I think is the good news. No face covering passports mandate i'd say give them the boot all together but beggars can't be choosers we can return to plan a in england and allow plan b regulations to expire yeah. as a result from the start of thursday next week mandatory certification will end but the question is what do vancouverites think Comment below, let me know. Do you think most of the ones we talk to are gonna be for or against that? And also, if you're tired of the medical apartheid and segregation in our once great free nation, please join our fight at fightvaccinepassports.com. It's a special website we've set up to help crowdfund because we've partnered with the Democracy Fund charity to take on now over 20 cases. We are fighting vaccine passports, including in British Columbia, as well as no jab, no pay policy. So regardless of your job status, join our fight to bring unity and less division in Canada. Hi, did you know the UK just dropped their face covering mandate? Nope. No, also vaccine passports are optional now. For the UK? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Maybe I should move back there. That's good. We should yeah. just get rid of them completely. Absolutely. I think it's cool. <laughs> yeah. They're also not requiring vaccine passports anymore. What's your thoughts on that? I also think that's cool. <laughs> I think masculine mandatory is good. It's you, good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it can prevent the virus. They're also not requiring vaccine passports anymore in the UK. It's optional. What's your thoughts on that? Uh, I think a vaccine is kind of, um, it should be depending on the per individuals. Did you know the UK just dropped their face covering mandate? Really? Cool. Yeah. Actually, what actually, do you think of that? The UK? Yeah, you don't have to wear oh, a face I covering. I hate British people, so it doesn't matter. Oh, you hate British people. Whoa. All right. I love it. If Canada said tomorrow you don't have to wear face coverings indoors, would you still wear them? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So if they said, hey, you don't have to wear face coverings tomorrow, would you guys wear them again? I won't wear them now. <laughs> I would not. Maybe I would. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think a mask for us will be always, always an, a, a choice. Yeah. Since all of this be kind of began, um, I haven't really worn a mask only a few times just for work. Maybe a few times going into a grocery store. But the other day, uh, I'm just totally sick of it now. Went into IGA. I wasn't wearing a mask. Um, and this guy stopped me, told me that I had to put one on. I was like, no, like I'm just gonna continue to do my shopping, grab my stuff, mind my own business and get out of here. And then he continued to freak out. And I was like, look, man, like I'm a Canadian citizen. I'm gonna stand up for myself and my country as I'm a patriot for my country to not comply with communism, right? And then he proceeded to call me a racist because um, I told him I was a Canadian. He happened to be an Indian man. That's not what I intended at all. I just intended, it's like, hey, both of us here should be standing up for our country. I know for a fact that that guy also does not agree with it, but he's just choosing to comply because of the submissive nature of the city that we live in. Well, most people who walked by didn't have time to answer the question. They're really in a hurry. Uh, but most people, I think it was kind of a 50-50. Let me know what you think. Will we see those rules be dropped anytime soon in Canada or other places in the world? I'm Andrea Humphrey, and this is Rebel News. We've partnered with the Democracy Fund charity to help them hire a team of top-notch lawyers who have taken on over 2,000 cases to fight tyrannical COVID-19 fines in Canada and over 20 cases to combat the vaccine passports and no-jab, no-pay policies that are segregating Canadians today. If that is something you're passionate about, please join our fight by going to fightvaccinepassports.com. This isn't about your vaccination status. This is about keeping Canada strong and free.